Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. and bright again this fine morning we are having ourselves a fantastic day so thank you guys for joining me on my travels or on my daily life videos I appreciate that and that's have ourselves a great day let's keep on rolling alrighty guys we are cruising along I-71 and we are having ourselves a fantastic day Talk to a uh, trucker jukebox there a little bit ago. He's uh, he's back on the road and he's uh, actually going up to New York area right now somewhere. And since his video is uh, a week behind now too, so you're going to see his video today as well, where he's actually on his way up to. Uh, New York. Yep. Well, I'm still cruising along here on I-71, like I said, on my way to uh, to Toronto. Well, actually, Brampton, which is part of Toronto. And if I make it to Toronto tonight, I can almost guarantee you that we will be uh, we will be stopping in at the Master Steak place. So we will have ourselves a great, great steak. Oh yeah, I know it's going to be a little bit late for a steak, but uh, yeah, I can't let a good steak uh, slide by me, you know. Anyways, I know a friend of mine is up there today too, so we'll see. We'll see if he's still hanging around there tonight when I get there. You bet, me and him are going to meet up and uh, we're going to have ourselves a good evening. Pretty sure. Well, we'll have to see if he's still hanging around when I get there, but... Ain't this gorgeous? No, look at that. Way down there we go up and down, up and down. I like that. It's very gorgeous. Beautiful. I love summer. I just... I do. I love summer. I love going to the lake, do some fishing. We had actually planned to do that this weekend, but... Uh, those plans kind of went in the, the sack but we are planning for next weekend next weekend is a long weekend up in Canada and that's the official uh, opening for uh, everybody to, to be able to go to campsites in Canada at least in Manitoba it is I don't know about other states but Manitoba that is the first weekend in, the, in spring or summer when everybody can start going to camps so uh, there's going to be a lot of people and it's actually a, a they call it a dry weekend so there's no alcohol allowed on the, on the campsites there that weekend I guess it's because everybody is uh, so excited to go out they they lose it I guess sometimes you know they drink too much and then they make trouble you know but we're planning to go out for that long weekend and we'll see if we'll do actual fishing yet that weekend but at least we will be going to the camp that's the plan for now because our daughter can stay in Winnipeg that weekend again and I definitely want to be back for that weekend so I'm gonna probably tell my dispatch that uh, I need to be back for that weekend yep oh well Anyways, let's continue rolling and 
have ourselves a good rest of the day. Alrighty guys, we are in a traffic jam and I got me this stick here the other day. So I'm going to be putting my camera on this stick here and uh, I can actually uh, pull this stick out like that and I'm going to be sticking it out of the window here in a second. I'm going to show you the traffic, uh, what we got going on here, so stay tuned. Alrighty guys, here we go. We're going out of the window. Are you going to see what we got going on? We got some traffic going on over here and uh, people are just watching what we got going on but anyways we're just having some fun that's a nice little handy tool we got here you know so we're gonna show people what we got all the way up there on the hill you guys can probably see we got lots of traffic hopefully nobody gets himself into trouble you know so anyways that's what the spiel is. Well guys, we figured out why there was uh, such a backup over there. They had uh, one bridge <laughs> got hit there uh, by a dump truck, somebody said at least. I don't know if that's true or not, that uh, actually got hit by a dump truck. But when I went by it, I could see that it uh, that had gotten hit. They were fixing it, like it was the overpass that goes on top of the uh, interstate. I'm actually still on uh, I-71 northbound. Yep, so they had a right lane closed up there and I guess just lots of traffic there and it just all came to a standstill. <laughs> yeah, they were fixing it up there. They're patching all the cement up and stuff like that. So Yeah, it wasn't that long of a delay. Just a little tiny bit. Just came all to a stop. And we probably stopped there for about five minutes. And we were rolling again, so at least that wasn't much of a delay, so that's always good. Alrighty, guys, we are just crossing from uh, Kentucky into Ohio. Ohio, that it is. Yes, it's a little river again. Yep. That's always very beautiful up here. Like, we got the big city right over there. And, oh, that's just gorgeous. It's 0.2 miles keep to I don't know if the camera is going to be able north. to pick that up because we, we are under Between a bridge. Ohio. But uh, other than that, we will be turning away from that. Alrighty guys, you probably see this sad right here. I just got it made over here at the Patro and North Baltimore, Ohio. It's called Yeah, they, it's actually sewed in there. It's not just glued on there. But now we are leaving to go to uh, Toronto. In, uh, we'll see if we get her tonight, but we got uh, 315 miles to go yet. Anyways, I just figured I would show you guys this hat. I think it's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, we are just coming across the Windsor, Ontario Bridge. Yep, we are just about to enter Canada. Well, there's a big ship up there again. Yeah, look at that. We got ourselves a gorgeous day. And I don't even see that much traffic. Sometimes uh, if it's heavy traffic up here, I got a big line up all the way across the bridge, even up to here. We sometimes stop right up here. Yeah, look at that. We're going over a big bridge. Yep, they actually uh, redone this bridge here last year, I think it was. And now it's nice and smooth. Before it was terrible. You could actually, in some spots, you could look through the, look through the bridge already. That's how bad it was. Crossing border, yeah. entering Ontario. It still don't look too bad. Warning. All right, all right. Yeah, still don't look too bad for traffic. Still rolling pretty good there at the bottom, it looks. Right there at the bottom, that's where we got the border uh, agency sitting, so. Anyways, we are in Ontario officially. Yep, I could jump down right here and I'd be in Ontario. I mind you, I wouldn't want to jump that high. <laughs> they probably see me anyways. 
probably see me on camera somewhere. They probably have all kinds of cameras up here. Anyways, let's uh, see you guys on the other side. Well, guys, we have made it to our delivery place. Yeah, we did. We sure did. Yep. I don't know if you guys like this hat, but I certainly do. Got the flames there on the side, all that good stuff. Yeah. And I got it uh, done at the uh, Patro there on uh, I-75. And they got a couple of locations they can get it done, but uh, they were just saying they're on 69 uh, in Indiana. Mile marker 157, I believe it is. He said that they just installed a new machine in there yesterday and apparently they can print uh, like a big logo on your shirt and all that good stuff so uh, I'm actually thinking about ordering some YouTube shirts and then uh, probably uh, put a picture of my truck in the back and then right on top of there probably have my uh, my logo like this you know like this right there Put my logo like that on there and uh hey maybe some of you guys might be interested in shirts like that but i'm uh, i'm seriously thinking about getting them so uh anyways you guys can see we are at our uh, ship or uh, delivery place but uh our appointment is only for tomorrow at 8 a.m so uh they said i gotta wait till tomorrow at 8 a.m yeah, well, that's fine. I knew that uh, <laughs> my appointment was only for tomorrow at 8, but I figured I would go see if there is parking down here so I'll, at least I could stay the night over here because otherwise it's about 20 kilometers that I got to drive over to uh, Dixie Road there in Mississauga for the truck stop. And I figured it was quite late already, so I kind of figured there wouldn't be any parking, so I decided to come up here. Yeah. And I... I looked on Google map there earlier and uh, it didn't look like there was a gate in there and when I came into the driveway there was none but a little bit on the driveway there was a gate security gate there so I had to check in there and then I went over to shipping I mean uh, receiving and shipping office there and uh, they said what time is your appointment I said I don't know I figure maybe I get me lucky maybe they'll get me in right and he was thinking about it for a while and he said ah oh, well We'll just have to wait till tomorrow. We'll go by the appointment. So I said, all right, that's no big deal. I said, can I at least park here? And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, just go in the back there. There's lots of room here. So there's actually another spot right here beside me that uh, somebody could actually pull into. So uh, we're in good shape. We're in business. He said, come back tomorrow at 7.30. And uh, he said, bring her into dock 21. And uh, so we'll, uh, we'll get you on load. That's great. That's all I want. But. That brings us to the end of the day. I hope you guys had a good day. I certainly did. So, uh, hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there in the corner. Right as my uh, outro goes out, there should be a subscribe button right there in the corner of the screen. Maybe it's on this side, I don't know. I don't know how the screen projects it, so if I'm looking at it, that probably is on this side. But uh, anyways, that's about it for tonight and I thank you guys all uh, for watching my videos and being subscribed to uh, the Trucker Rudy show we certainly appreciate every single one of you guys and I hope you will stay tuned for tomorrow's show we probably have something very interesting tomorrow we've got to the end of this video hey be sure to check out some of my social media sites and I got the links right down there below in the description box. Hey, I got the subscribe button right there in the corner. It's nice and big for you guys to check it out. Hey, check out some of these cool videos right here. Have a good one. Catch you on the next one.